Hi everyone. Earlier today I made a video taking apart a uh, convection oven, a small convection oven. If you haven't seen the video, don't worry about it. It's not important. But um, out of that convection oven, I got this. Okay. Now, we've seen all kinds of videos on YouTube that where motors are being self-powered. And I suspect they're all fake. So what I'm going to do here is that this works really nicely. I mean, this thing wants to spin really, really easy. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm sharing this with you before I do it in case, you know, I never come back because, you know, you never know when we're going to have, you know, when we're going to drop dead. So I like to keep sharing things in real time in case one of these days you're all going to come here. It's going to be my last video and you're all going to wonder what happened to me. This probably because I passed on. So what I want to share with you is that this is really cool potential here. And this is why. This is metal. Okay. And I want to do here is take a magnet here like that. Then we'll take another magnet and put it right here. Okay. I'm facing all the polarities in the same direction. Okay. Put that right there. Okay. And then one more for now. Really what's going to happen is I'm going to have to put one on every single one of these blades. That's an odd number, so I can't do it every other one because it's nine instead of eight. Okay. Should turn it around. Yeah, I'll cast the right. Okay. Now look what we have here. What I'm thinking here is to put a coil of wire on top. So we have a coil of wire right here, probably about the full width of this and then maybe have some of the coil wrap around here or you can even go underneath here. whole concept is is to take the electricity that's generated from these magnets when you put a copper coil wire around this in case some of you don't know it but some 90% of all of the electricity in the entire world is generated from spinning magnets within a copper coil of wire. So what I'm sharing with you here is nothing new, nothing original. The only thing here is that I want to take the energy generated from the copper coil wire on top and wire it and hook it up to this wire and where is it right there and hook it up to the other wire right here, the other source. We have a left and a right positive and a negative okay so what I want to do here is make it so see if the electricity from this can be just enough electricity to make this want to spin if this really works it might it actually might work if this really works then we're really on to something so anyway just thought I'd share this with you all uh, tonight because I may never be back again. Har, har, har. Uh, hopefully, Lord willing, the creek don't rise. I'll be back tomorrow. But I'm not getting any younger. Okay, so anyway, there's my little idea from this fan motor that came out of a convection oven that I took apart earlier today in the other video prior to this one. All right, well, that's going to generate electricity. So that's, an, that's a no-brainer. question is, with electricity generated from this be enough to give enough power to this to make this at least start turning a little. And if it will turn a little, then the little it turns, that electricity will go in here, and then this might turn a little bit faster and a little bit faster. I'll have to um, make sure these magnets are carefully anchored down because once this starts going so fast, these magnets are going to spin off of this. It's going to go flying into the air or actually damage the coil of wire. All right, that's all the news that's fit to print from Lake Will Be Gone. Take care.